Welcome back to yet another customized show. And as you can see, we've got a beauty parked over here. Oh yes, Duncan, you're a beauty as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, nice so book. quick introduction to Duncan over here. Duncan is actually one of our first subscribers, well, one of the top 50 first subscribers to our YouTube channel. Oh, yes. Nice. So I had a quick you know, Google or mm -hmm. quick research before, we, before you came to join us. And I think you top 30 somewhere around there, but one of our first 50 subscribers. So thank okay. you so much for supporting us. Um, and thank you for bringing this beautiful truck. The viewers have been asking for a Nissan for some time. Well, it's nice to see something other than uh, patrol um, Land Rover, sorry. And cruisers Jeeps and, and Jeeps cruisers and, and things like that. Yeah. It's good to have something not with a solid axle. <laughs> yeah. Well, Before I get thing. grief on that. <laughs> yeah, no. I, look, I mean, it's got its pluses and its minuses. We'll get into that. So first of all, tell us about this. Well, Nissan Patrol Y62. Yeah. Not many um, are built to go off-road like this one is. Yes. Um, this one was an accident in the fact that I really wanted a Land Rover Defender. Yeah. Brought up on Land Rovers. But at my age and with my uh, conditions, then yeah. the Land Rover was too uncomfortable. So I couldn't wait for the new Defender, yeah. so I went for the Patrol. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's a, the, the Land Rover Defender, beautiful vehicle, but look, Not if, you want, if you want false teeth by the age mm -hmm. of like 55, 60, it's going to rattle everything out, right? That's it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so Y62, um, 2015 model. This is the V8. V8, 5.6. the V6s, I think, only in 2018. That's or right, right, yeah. 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 Um, okay, it's thirsty, but no, living in the Middle East, the it's not a problem. It's got the grunt. Lots of grunt in it. This is why it has two names. When she's just doing the road stuff and beach yeah. stuff, she's called Patsy. No way. And then when she's doing terrain like this, she's called the Beast from the East. The Beast from the East. I'm going to stick to the Beast from the East. The Beast from the East, all the way from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Right. Let's have a look at everything you've got on here. Right. First of all, and you've got to look really carefully, but this is an aftermarket bumper. It's an aftermarket bumper. Um, now the intention is when I have finished in the Middle East, I go home to North Wales. So I have to make sure that the vehicle is Euro proof to yeah. get around all the obstacles with the- So you gotta uh, put the plastics back on. That's it. So this is a fiberglass bumper. Yeah. Um, obviously going over mountains and things like that, there is a chance that the fiberglass would break. Yeah. So we have a two and a half inch steel bar underneath yeah. and an eight mil bash plate underneath that. Oh wow. So, uh, so far, touch wood, oh, it yeah, has lasted well. Absolutely everything. It's protected well and it is solid. Yeah, this is the issue that, the only issue that I have with this, um, and it's it's very similar to, I think it was the Nissan Xterra, mm -hmm. um, is that the condenser is so low. Um, and if you knock at condensers, obviously the AC goes, but that's expensive one. You know, you Correct. knock the radiator, radiators are inexpensive compared to a condenser. So I see yeah. that's covered beautifully over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and where did you get this done? The bumper is from Foilex. Yeah. And the um, protection bar and the underneath 8mm is yeah. from um, Torque. Okay. All right, and no, that's off the shelf, they didn't manufacture it. Off the shelf, nope. ready for the Y62. This one's off the shelf. Yeah. That is totally. Um, made specific yeah. for this from Naveen at Talk. Oh, that's fantastic, that's yeah. awesome. Right, and you're stuck, okay, standard lights, we don't have any spotties over here. Nothing yet. Um, well, we don't really need it in this environment. The UAE is so small, we don't Correct. do much night driving Correct. and we don't have many animals on the road. So no. the need for an absolute steel bumper is very minimum compared to Africa and Australia, obviously. Yep. Um, we're not gonna be hitting no any animals on the road. Here. No ruse over here. No. Um, so it's basically, it's just increasing your clearance that you've done over here and it's not damaging a very expensive bumper. No. Yeah. No. Nope. Right, in, inside the engine bay, what have we got going inside on? Inside the engine bay. Well, actually, hang on a second. What's this? That is an aftermarket socket that I put on for plugging in the 120 watt um, solar panel. Yeah. Solar panel just tops up the spare battery, which is just behind here. And spare batteries running the fridge and awning lights etc all right let's camping. crack the hook let's have a look okay. what you've done with the batteries okay so underneath the okay. bonnet so we got pretty standard cranking battery cranking battery just yep. standard battery for uh, cranking the engine and yep. everything spare battery is down here oh wow holy moses okay i suppose that's the because area that you would stand nowhere and leave for, a winch. for anything to go yeah the winch will be going beside it yeah um on a separate plate uh Icon are looking at the, doing that for me yes. later on. So 
spare battery for there. Um, isolation switch to connect them just yeah. in case. So and yeah, then, what are you doing? The manage what management system are you running? System. So you're running the Piranha yeah. system. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. I, I ran it for years on all my vehicles before I moved to Red well, Oak. The thing that uh, your viewers should know that everything about this vehicle is yeah. being recommended somewhere along the line from Expedition Extreme. <laughs> so, so if something goes wrong, it's my fault. <laughs> it's your fault. But everything that's going well is <laughs> everything definitely... Everything so far, and it's been, it's nearly six years yeah. old, and so far, very, very pleased. Ah, no, it. fantastic. I'm okay. glad, glad so that the advice has gone somewhere. shift on it with the gauge inside, okay. and then I've put the uh, secondary switch in there just yeah. so that I can... If crank that one goes flat, I can yeah, crank it up. Join somewhere. them up together, right? And you're running mm -hmm. a yellow top 55 amp, yep. 55 yeah. amp. Yeah. I'm thinking about boosting it up to a 90 amp. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. So, other than that, engine is stock standard, right? Absolutely standard. This is the SE or the LE? SE. This is the SE. So, you're running four, uh, just about 400 horsepower, 395, yeah. I think mm -hmm. it is. Ample power for this vehicle. Ample power. Okay. Never had a problem with the power. And, yeah, and again, probably the viewers that are looking at this because there are a couple of Y62s being built at the moment in Australia and it's becoming pretty popular over there especially with the guys towing the the camper trailers yep. um, because of the amount of power that this puts out is they would say well why is there no snorkel well we live in the desert ladies and gentlemen there yeah. is no water there is I was just talking to uh, Rob about that before um, when I bought this in 2015 yep. I was in touch with Safari yep. a lot and they said they're not going to build one because the cars aren't popular enough. Yeah. Now they are popular enough. Safari so have just get... started building them and yeah. ARB are just selling them now. All right. So that hopefully will be on within the next two, three months. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why we would use a snorkel here is because of the dust. So it's, it's just ensuring that the air filter is a little higher off there and the dust. And water. if you do go to Musson Dam, yeah, I've okay. had my old car up to the windows in water going through the river <laughs> just to get home. I wish we would get rain this year. We've had absolutely no rain the entire winter and it doesn't look like we're going to get anything before summer. So it's going to be a hot old summer. Yep. I absolutely love this color. Now that you've turned the vehicle, it just just pops. You know, one you're looking at it one way and it looks like a real desert sandy land cruiser, you know, military vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then you turn it and then the, the, the glitter pops. It won't come up on the... On the, well, the the, the, metallic co the colour constant. is um, not by accident. Um, I had the top box on my old car yeah. and I was in the process of looking for a new car and Julie, a good friend of ours, was over and she said, that's what you want, one of those, and pointed to one of these, this uh -huh. colour. Yeah, so when no, I went it's to the showroom, great. that was it. It's a pity it just never comes up on camera, but as you turn it, it just mm -hmm. changes colours. Yep. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Nice right, colour. let's stop talking about the colour. Okay. First of all, the fender flares. Fender flares, again, because of the European laws, you're yep. not allowed anything that sticks out over yep. the side of the car. Uh, I have 285 Coopers on here now. Mm -hmm. I did have pay, uh, spacers on before, but yeah. the spacers, I didn't like them. Yeah, you know, it's, if you do go spacers, and I don't recommend spacers, but if you do go spacers, you're going to make sure that they're high quality. They were high quality, but I ended up having a vibration. I didn't know whether it was a tyre or the spacer, mm -hmm. so I just got rid of the spacers. Yeah and then I put four new tyres on it. Yeah, I mean, at, at some time, if you want to go wider, then what we do is, because you're still running the standard 18-inch rims, you can just put an offset on the rim slightly, and then it'll you widen that track, yeah. which gives you then a little bit more clearance if you want to go wider mm -hmm. on a tyre, if you want to go with a 305 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So the Cooper 83s, I mean, they're standard, they're lovely tyre, they're brilliant on the road, they're not that noisy. Very quiet. It's it's just a lovely tyre. This is the second set. The first one I had was the 83 standards, yep. and now I've put the XLTs, the XLTs on, XLTs, yeah. and you just get a little bit more meat on the sidewall. Yeah, because you enjoy doing what we, where we are today in yeah. the mountains, doing the wadi tracks mm -hmm. and, you know, the mountainous tracks, which is perfect for this vehicle. Yeah. Which leads me Great. to the next conversation on suspension. What have you done there? Suspension has been lifted two inches. You've got King, Sing, King Spring suspension. Okay. Running with um, Tough Dog shocks. Okay, right. So you've done the King two inch. Two and inch. Run lift. The, 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 yeah, and run the, the heavy dog duty. Shocks or the. Just standard Tough yeah, Dog. The, yeah, the 50 mil, 50. Yeah, beautiful. Because yeah. it's got to carry the weight, obviously. She's That's a heavy it. girl as mm -hmm. it is. And then if you start adding all your overlanding gear and everything into it. Well, you'll see later. There's plenty of weight in the yeah. back, so I needed something solid. And the back is slightly different again. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the top here. The top. Right, roof rack. The that's top was a struggle. Bit. This is um, a tradesman um, roof rack mm -hmm. built specifically for the Y62. Okay. And that I had to have sent over from Australia. Yeah, because no one was doing them. 
Nobody was doing them and people who were prepared to build them were not going to bring it down low enough to the roof. Uh, Everybody could build me a rucksack, uh, a, a, roof rack, a yeah. roof rack, but they wanted too much clearance between the roof of the car and that. Yeah, so I wouldn't just... be able to get into where I park. Mm. It's okay. too... And again, right now, obviously there are more available because the this model is starting to sell into South Africa right now. Correct. Like we say, it's just yeah. got into Australia not and too long it's ago. In America as well. So, uh, yeah, and in the States mm -hmm. for sure. I think they call it something else in the States. I think they call it a. It's the. Uh, I think it's the. Um, Armada. Armada rough Thank track you from or the peanut like gallery. That. Yeah. yeah, my wife used yeah. to have an Armada, but it was the different uh -huh. shape, and yeah. then went to the Infinities. Mm -hmm. Right, so roof rack, it is nice and slim. I like the way that they've put it over here. You've got one, two, three mounting points, which uh -huh. means you can carry some weight on here, which then gives you the big tent. It's a three person, although yep. we've, we only put two in it because myself and my wife are not so small. <laughs> so it's a case of um, three person auto home. It's Italian awesome. make, although this one came from the UK. Okay. They're lovely. Um, they, 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 they are, are fantastic. expensive, but they're for life. Yeah, that's why we went for it. You yeah. can get cheaper Chinese ones now. Yeah. You see them over here in the stores and things. And they're very good quality because we don't get the rain. Yes, but we, we have the heat problem. We do have heat. So these rubbers on the inside on the cheaper makes eventually start going. Right. And okay. what happens is the clips also that clip it down start going. And you'll see, I've seen a lot of them on the road now. And you see the guy's got a ratchet strap that's right, right over the top. I've seen that. Yeah. All right, because mm -hmm. that's because the rubbers are gone one summer and the clips and I've seen one where going. they've got a light bar on the front oh. and the light bar, they've hit a bump and the light bars come down and just taken out the whole of the front of the... They've just taken out all the, yeah. the fiberglass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, if you're going to buy something, buy something. You know, I've got a very good friend of mine, Graham Owen, that always says, yes. I am too, I'm too poor to buy cheap. Yeah. Buy once Buy and get cheap. it over and done with. Buy twice. Exactly. All three times, all four oh, times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people never learn. <laughs> well, this is my retirement car. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's move over here. Okay. Okay, half Pull a tree up. in it. Yeah, well, it does go off road, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. There's the proof. Okay, the spade mounting onto the quick on suite. I mean, the missus must love this, right? This is down to glamping, not camping. Yeah. Keep ladies happy, then you yeah. can go again. Well, you know what? It's just, especially in the open places that we, we, we're not in an environment that we've got lots of trees and you can quickly hide around something. Mm -hmm. It's desert or it's open areas. And there's lots of people touring right now Correct. on the weekends because no one can go home Correct. or fly anywhere. So put these quick on suites up. Two seconds change. to deploy it and you can get changed. Done. Do your toilets, showers. I love the fact that you've taken the initiative and gone and put the spade over here because unfortunately these privacy tents do take up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to put the spade over here and uh, you know I, I run lights on either side, working lights, yeah. so I can see what's going on. And then there's no place for me to put my spade. That's such a great idea. I love that. Well, I have the small fold-up ones hidden away in the back, but that yeah. one I just grab hold of and I can dig yeah. out whenever I need to. And yeah, you've obviously lived here long enough. Everybody goes with the silver steel spade. Mm -hmm. Put that outside and try and take that off during the day. Yeah. You're never going to touch it. No, it's hot. You that end up digging fine. with your hands. So the plastic one, although they eventually do perish, mm -hmm. but it's easier to replace because at least you can take this off right now and start digging. That's it. I've had that one three years. So. Yeah. Right, Duncan, let's talk about your rear end. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> of the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, first things first, let's start over here. You've got an additional spare. I've got so is this the main spare? That's the main spare. Yeah. And then just in case anything happens and you have a double puncture, yeah. then the original oh, one so you is still underneath. Got the original. I've still got the original okay, underneath. Okay, fantastic. And oh, I've still even got the original tyres that came on. Original so, I mean, tyres. second. So this has got your... It's literally a get your home one or to the nearest yeah. tyre place. That's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, what you can do in the future is you could also decide to turn that into either a water tank or an additional fuel tank. Well, well, the Nissan Patrol actually comes with a bigger fuel tank. This has got 140 the 100, litre fuel 140 tank. 140 litre, yeah. That space has already been bagged. Yeah, that's okay. That's perfect. Because going back to Europe and going yeah. back to the UK eventually, that ah. will be LPG. Yay, you see, that's <laughs> clever. Yeah. I am not running this no, on petrol no, when I go back home. No, no. All my vehicles back home, I've had Discoveries and um, yeah. Range Rovers, all on LPG. The way to go, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. It, is. It, has to, it has to be, otherwise you're just not going to get the fun out of it because you won't be able to afford to run it. Of course, yeah. And then this is this is the Cooper, same 
This one's a Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Um, same so as the ones so on the side. So if you were to go, you know, get a flat in the rocks, you've got a I've strong got a tire here. Strong one. And this is inside where'd there. Get, where'd you get this made? This is just one of the local street vendors down okay. in Dubai. I see it's got the zip over here. Yep. So what are you storing inside here? Inside here is my fire pit, okay. Oz pit, yeah. and the top grill and the tripod that goes over the top of it and everything else. Nice. And then inside I've got the uh, Oz pit spit yep. for when you're doing the chickens Absolute and things. Absolute best piece mm -hmm. of kit. Love it a bit. There. Love yeah. it a bit. Yeah. Um, when things were quiet at work, I went out and uh, bought it and yeah. didn't tell my wife about it and then yeah. we went down to Abu Dhabi, we we're on a beach, set it up yeah. and I've just got the meat rotating oh. there and it was... The beauty is you can just sit back and enjoy yourself that was because it. the meat's cooking itself. Yeah, we just went for a quick swim and the meat's there <laughs> spinning around doing its job. That's awesome, that's mm. awesome. It's a nice yeah. place to store it as well. It's and, the and the fire pits obviously as well, you need to have the fire pits, anything in the ground over here is a fine, so... 500 dirham fine yeah. for anything on the ground now. Yeah. Good. Right, it's got the Icon sticker on it, so I would assume that Icon made this bumper for you. They did. I designed it yeah. and I wanted these baskets on the back yeah. and then Icon did the special graphic drawings yeah. for it and everything else and I'm very pleased with it. They've uh, done a good job. Very neat. Um, these, why are these here? Because mm. I can put two cans of petrol in it if yeah. I'm doing a leeward trip because yes. I don't like the too much weight upstairs no. and I don't want petrol inside the car. No. It stinks. No. And most of the time, um, I've done a, a trip down to um, Salala and right down to the Yemni border. Yeah. And I can put water in there as well. Of course. Yeah, I mean, it's just so, moving it up. Yeah. And then it obviously just has the bracket that goes over the top. Yeah, see, so you've got the... It's, it's just a chain on a lock. Okay. That I, I can put a padlock so through easy, one easy over out. the top to the other and just lock everything in. And then it's double security for the back door as well. Right, day two. Here we it's are. It's a big truck. It takes two days to do the whole <laughs> review on it. Right. <laughs> Different location Different in the forest. Different location. You brought mm -hmm. us to an awesome spot here in this foresty area. So we've spoken about the front, we've spoken about the side. Now we're getting to the business end and why you've got that airbag man suspension in the back because I can probably oh, expect there's a lots of weight. Here. Lots of weight. <laughs> ah. Yeah. All right, let's open her up. Let's have okay. a what hidden behind this. All right. There we go. Ah. Clever. Yep, that's me barbecue coal. Nice. So yeah, that interior area over here is wasted space. Why not? So you've got a bit of charcoal in here. You've got fire lighters. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. I, I can also put wood in the yeah. baskets here if I'm not taking yes. petrol or anything else. Okay, here's the business end. So we've right. got the standard ARB. Um, 40 litre? I think it's 60 litre actually. Yeah, I'm not, not too sure. Bigger, yeah. yeah, I think it is a 60 litre. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And draw system, where did you get the draw system from? Draw system, I made that. You built it's it yourself? Built it myself. Yeah. It's brilliant. Aeronautical grade plastic, so it's lighter wow. than plywood. Yeah. Still 18 mil, same as the plywood, but it's lighter and stronger. Aha. All right. And okay. You've got these awesome, these are great. Difficult to find though. You said, where did you get these from? I, a friend gave me these, yeah. um, but you can get them in Dragon Mart okay. along with the uh, draw slides, so it's not a big problem to build it yourself. Very important. Very important. <laughs> Most important part of the equipment on the car. The best bottle opener yeah. must have. So what have we got stored in over there then? So we've got two different sizes. Yeah. We've got wolf boxes over this side. Okay. So I've got my kitchen box here, nice. which will come out later on, yeah. and my Indiflate. Yeah. Um, tire repair kit, and I've got the water pump for if I take a yeah, 20, 20 litre bottles, etc. And then behind that, I've got a camping box, another wolf box with yeah. camping equipment, okay. hammocks and things like that. Yeah. And then, Stuff you're not going to use every time. So no. Yeah. No. And then on this one, we have Ooh, you've got it covered up. a secret table. No. The table comes out and that goes on there. And today I brought breakfast with us, uh -huh. so we'll be cooking breakfast on here in a short while. This is awesome, I love this. So this has quite a nifty little trick here. Well, this is wasted space, really. Anybody that's got a swing arm or, you know, the additional tire on the back. Now, if you've got barn doors like the 76 series, obviously you wouldn't be able to utilize it because the door opens. But anybody that's running, you know, Pajeros or any of those or 200 series, 
This is brilliant. I love this. There we go. And oh, then, I'm going to steal this and idea. And the chain my comes door. down there to make it even stronger. That's, That's your cooking station. That's brilliant. That's beats. Yeah, you know, logging around a table that has to go into the roof rack and the whole bank chute. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. so you got your there's your gas cooker, and then the rest of what else do you have in there? I have. So that's all your kitchen. That's the camping oh, stuff camping for if stuff. I want more ropes and Lots guide hands, poles, yeah. and then the one at the back is um, the car spares, yeah. tools, okay. things like that. Yeah, because you've got a lot of space in the back. Uh -huh. of this. The Y62 has got absolute tons of space <laughs> but the, yeah but the problem is um there should be the second row of seats, seats yes. so that you lose the second row of seats yeah. and because on the y62 the floor goes like that mm -hmm. then i've had to put a frame in just to level it, it out I suppose, and then yeah. put board across ah clever idea okay top over here what you're utilizing so you've got a, the toilet bag toilet bag, bag to go in the side up there and then you've got your sink yeah which can either go on the table or it fits oh, wow. nicely on top of there <laughs> yeah okay double Things. use brilliant yeah brilliant and then ah, so you've got your chairs and everything normally would then go into the back here chairs yeah carpet for inside the uh, little rooms because we have the fly net room yeah on the awning how do you access this fridge now because the it's fridge. quite high up here the fridge again is uh Homemade. Homemade. Oh, I love this. Tilt People and slide. Do their own thing, decide what they want to do, build it yourself. So the steel work you obviously got just to one of the local shops to bend that and, and hold got, it up yeah, for you. Yeah, I bought the steel and then got icon just to bend it yeah. and then I cut it out and put all the um, slides and everything on it. But the beauty of this one is it comes out and then oh, it tilts look down. At that. That's fantastic. Easily accessible. Good access. Beautiful. And with the ARB one, as you know, you can just take yeah. the lid straight take off anyway. Off. Yeah. I don't know whether you can do that on all of them, but no, not most. Most yeah. of them not. Okay, that's that's brilliant. I love this. Right, side of the vehicle. We've discussed the rooftop tent. We've discussed all the stuff. Only thing we haven't discussed is the awning. Just the standard two and a half meter house yeah. trail. Straight out. Straight out. Easy. And then we have the net room yeah. that goes inside it. Yeah, Ideal for a little bit of today. shade, but keeps the flies away. Flies and mosquitoes, yeah. especially when mm -hmm. we do, when we eventually get some rain in this place. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they're lovely and it's such lightweight it's, it's, and it's easy to yeah. drop. Yeah, just drop it and then I keep the sun flag in there as well for yeah. if you're going over the dunes. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Right, let's go and look at the business end and what happens inside this beautiful vehicle. Right, so Duncan, tell me what you got going on in here. Um, Pretty much a standard. Uh, you've got the battery monitor for the Piranha system for the yeah. split batteries. You've got the Garmin uh, Montana 680 yeah. uh, there for straightforward GPS navigation. Beautiful, yeah. Most of the time I use Google. It's yes. Google's just as good. Uh, what I would advise people to do though is don't throw away your old mobile phones. Yeah. I've got this one here which I set up for an inclinometer because oh, of all awesome. the weight on the roof. I can now decide how much roll I've got yeah. if I'm going backwards and forwards and because I can't see anything through the rear window mm -hmm. I have the uh, mirror here oh. with a rear camera so okay. that's shining does straight Does that have a recording capability as it well? It does, so, you've got so I can record front and nice. I can record back as well. Yeah, for okay. in case somebody decides to drive into the back of you and blame you. Correct, <laughs> yep. And then um, everything else is as standard from Nissan, yeah. um, apart from we have to have the armrest of course, for vehicles like this. We have to have the armrest. Yeah. Oh, and, and then you've uh, got to, I see I built, you've something up over built there. a box here because it's got not the quite, fridge in the middle, right? The fridge in the middle, but it's not quite tall enough if yeah. you've got the seat right up for okay. people like me. So, so I'll put a storage box on top the, of it. Ah, mm -hmm. very good. And then the rear end, the rear is open. So if you've got your, your kids are traveling, visiting across, you've got space at the rear, or you could then utilize that to put groceries or whatever you're purchasing yeah. on the way. Yeah. And then so under, the the, under the floor as well with the frame yeah. that we've got there. So all the space I have my the fishing world. rods and things under that. All the space in the world. Well, there we have it. Everybody's been asking for a Y62. Mate, I think you've got the best looking Y62 in this country by far. It's still an ongoing project. Well, it always is. 
we don't stop with them. Yeah, and unfortunately, it just also drains the wallet. <laughs> <laughs> this but is I love, true. I love the fact that you've done a lot of the work yourself, and you've built it, and you've designed uh -huh. it yourself, and that's and that puts that personal aspect. And I think that's what's in, that's yeah. what we love doing. Uh -huh. Overlanding vehicles like this is put your own fingerprint on it. It certainly does us. It's a family car, but it's a family car that will go anywhere. Yeah, hopefully. Well, there you have it. Fantastic, mate. Thank you so much. No problem. And. Uh, you know what, um, could you just step over here for a second? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so what's going on here? We have Vietnamese breakfasts. I can't steal his car. I can't come into his kitchen. What's no, going on here? allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard work, eh? Patreons, when you take us out, when we take you out, cook me a nice breakfast like this. Oh. That's the first one ready. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh.